So what can we expect from 5G? Although built on LT, 5G brings in a totally new air interface, 5G new radio, or 5G NR, operating in millimeter wave, MM wave frequencies, between 30 and 300 gigahertz. There is also a radical makeover of the radio access network. These allow 5G to support a million connected devices per square kilometer, that is, a bit over a third of a square mile. They offer data rates 10 times faster than 4G, can push massive data volumes, enable mobility up to 500 kilometers per hour, with an end-to-end -end latency of 2 milliseconds or less. Compare this with LMR latencies, with at which average around 200 milliseconds. What is possible with specifications as insanely good as this? I'll mention some of the prospects that are possible. We can have self-driving vehicles, which become realistic because 5G V2X, or Vehicle to Everything, enables vehicles to communicate with each other to automatically avoid collisions. The Industrial Internet of Things becomes a real possibility through the wireless connection of billions of low-cost, low-energy sensors and the real-time dynamic control and automation of industrial processes such as oil and mining production, manufacturing systems, energy distribution, and intelligent transport systems. In medicine, 5G enables doctors to perform remote robotic surgery. For security, artificial intelligence applications allow us to process video f surveillance footage and react in real time. In firefighting, 5G allows using interactive virtual reality simulations to train firefighters on how to deal with complex fire incidents. Generally speaking, 5G will allow super accurate and up to the second location tracking. For ambulance services, 5G enables augmented reality goggles to be used by ambulance services staff to enable a continuous overlay of medical and patient status information to be viewed while emergency assistance is being delivered. Smart cities with massive sensor network connectivity supporting automated services and infrastructure become possible. The list goes on, but don't expect miracles to come with the first appearance of 5G. These are enormously complex and high-risk applications with all the behavioral details, complementary technology, and economics still to be worked out. 5G is simply part of the enabling infrastructure that makes the imaginable seem achievable within the ne next decade or so. It is seen as the enabling technology for the next industrial revolution predicted to emerge from the industrial Internet of Things. One of the fundamental deliverables of communications infrastructure is coverage. The astounding speed and bandwidth of 5G is founded on its use of millimeter wave radio signals. But these super high frequencies have a short range, so 5G may be only able to reach a few hundred meters rather than propagating over rural distances. Also, very high frequencies don't penetrate obstacles very well. So everything from concrete walls to tree leaves may disrupt signals. To achieve the everywhere, anywhere coverage that critical communications expects, lots and lots of small cells, densely clustered, will need to be installed both inside and outside buildings. This is very different from LMR's use of a much smaller number of tall radio towers outdoors to achieve coverage. So there is still much investigation and trialing of 5G coverage ahead before we can confident that 5G is ready for prime time.